Hey guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. I'm going to make a little video this morning about uh, a couple of tools I really like is uh, Leatherman Rebar. And this is a uh, Leatherman Super Tool uh, 300M. Uh, it's a little different from your standard Super Tool 300. And uh, we'll get into that in just a second. I made a video on this by itself when I first purchased it. Uh, I've had a chance to use it a little bit. So uh, just going to go over it and uh, what I like about these two tools and uh, show you what they're, how they compare to each other. So let's get started. The, the rebar is uh, pretty well known for people that use Leatherman's. It's got the uh, got the removable plier head, or uh, sorry, removable uh, wire cutters, uh, replaceable, I should say. And it's got your standard uh, pliers there, and it's got your your needle nose. Now, uh, the only tools on either of these uh, are accessible from the outside, so you have to open the tool up to get to them. And, uh, you know, on the rebar, you got your uh, serrated blade. It opens up. They all locked in place. They have this uh, retaining lock here on the back. You press that down. You break them over. You can see right here. Uh, a little catch is, and when it pops in there, it pops in the lock, pops in place. You hear that snap a little bit. But they're all very securely locked. And, uh, the rebar has the standard uh, can opener. Most, most Leathermans have. This works real well. You have your wire stripper here. That works real well. You can also use it as a bottle cap lifter. Uh, what a lot of people like about the rebar and the original Super Tool 300 uh, was this. And this is that. Uh, 3D Phillips, you can see. Uh, it works really, really well. And there's another add on feature you can buy with this, which is this uh, bit kit with this uh, removable bit adapter. And uh, it just pops out of there like that. If you look in here, well, that's the spring, that's the, uh, the bit uh, end of it. Over here you got, uh, you see how it's squared right there. Fits on the end of this. Kind of push it on there. And it's not going to come off. You can shake it and shake it. And it's not going to come off. So that's a real good addition to your rebar or super tool. 300, I think it also works on the, uh, the bond and the uh, couple other ones, the kick or something like that. Anyone that has that type of... Uh, and then you have the uh, these standard uh, Leatherman bits here, these proprietary bits that Leatherman sells, which work on the Wave and the uh, Surge and uh, a couple others. But anyway, you can pick this up from Leatherman website, and uh, it's, it's a great addition to your tool arsenal, I guess you could say. I really like it. Uh, oh, and it also fits uh, the extension will fit in here. See that? This is so that fits in there. You can shake it it's real secure. It doesn't come out. But, uh, we'll set that over here to the side. I get this to go back in here. We'll be doing all right, won't we? Anyway, okay. So we got this uh, 3D Phillips here, which is awesome. Works real good. And we have the little got a nail neck here. It's kind of hard to get to, but the saw, which I haven't used a saw myself. I don't use saws a lot, but from what I hear, they uh, they work very well. I've used it on my wave. 
in my uh, surge, they work good on them, I'm sure it would work good on the rebar. Same type of uh, setup here. And the thing about Leatherman saws is uh, they're narrower at the top and thicker towards the saw blades, which makes it less likely to bind when you're using it. And when you're, you're cutting a board or whatever. And on this side we have our main blade. Now this blade measures about, uh, let's see, I can do this, okay. I'm gonna use my uh, super tool here to measure it. It's about almost two and a half inches because I measure it from here, whereas I think Leatherman is gonna measure it from the back, but I measure it from the usable blade surface. So it's about two and a half inches long. And uh, very sharp when you get it. At least mine was when I got it from the factory. And it has the uh, the awl, which is uh, awesome. Bad pun joke. And then you have your two uh, flat tips here. You can use them as scrapers, especially this one. Good for getting in old places and stuff. And then finally, on this side, you have the file and the lanyard ring. You can see that right there. But, uh, you have a uh, rough edge file here. And you have the, uh, the edge on the bottom here for cutting metal, like a pipe or something. And you have the uh, smoother file surface here. It's not a, a uh, file like on the wave of the surge where uh, you can actually sharpen a uh, knife blade with it, but it works good in surface purpose. And the power head is, is very, uh, very robust, very sturdy for a small tool like this. So we're going to set that one down and we're going to get over here and open up our 300M, which uh, I got the Coyote Brown with this one. I really like that color. First one I ever had. Now the plier head on this, is, as you can see, is very, uh, very heavy duty compared up to its little brother, the rebar. Even though they're the same, they look the same. Uh, it also has the removable wire cutters here. You have your hard wire cutters. Uh, and your soft wire cutters, soft wire being the front, hard wire being the back. You have a good uh, normal plier here. You have uh, your uh, needle nose, and it works really good. Uh, of course, back here you have your wire crimper, which you also have on your rebar. You can see that right there. But, but something you have also on this. 300M is a, uh, you have a hard wire cutter back here, if you can see that, in addition to the one in the front. So let's just do a little something extra here. And here you have uh, this hole is drilled on both sides, and you can screw in a cleaning rod, like off a rifle cleaning kit or something, pistol cleaning kit. And I'll show you, it also has a, a way to set that up as a T handle. But, uh, you know, and then you have your, uh, your interior tools, which this is your serrated blade, very sharp, mine was very sharp. Uh, you have this uh, awl scraper, which uh, is a little different than your standard awl, which you would find on uh, the, the rebar or the uh, standard 300, ST300. This is made more for uh, cleaning firearms or whatnot, but it still works real well uh, for an all. And you also have this thread hook you can run like some leather or some thread to it if you're trying to make me make a field repair on a, you know, pair of shoes or something, I don't know. But uh, you have this small flat tip, uh, which you could use as a small scraper, I guess, or a little pry bar maybe, a very small pry bar. And this is something that you don't have on the standard 300, is this uh, nail puller, uh, 
which uh, works real well. Uh, very happy with that. It's great for prime things, you know. And in my profession, we're always prime on something, panels or something to get them up. So that's real helpful. Now your knife blade uh, is a little bit longer than uh, the rebar. See if we can get a measurement on it here. Looking right at about, sorry, right at about three inches. So it's a little bit longer, about a half inch longer, a little over, a little less than a half inch longer than the rebar. This one's also is razor sharp when I got it from uh, from the other one. Well, here's the same uh, can opener, bottle opener, uh, wire stripper, three tool accessory there. Now the thing that's different also on the 300M versus the standard 300, in which I is the uh, extra exchangeable bit holder. This is what comes on your Surge, your Leatherman Wave, your Charge series. I think the uh, what is a signal. Uh, several different models have this, and this is really good because you got the bits that you can buy for it. But the cool thing about this tool when you purchase it, it comes with this, which is actually a sight adjustment tool and uh, an extension for your bits. So this is there like this. Your bits, it has a magnet in there that retains them, and they're not going to fall out. So that is really cool. I actually like this one better than the uh, original one, which I don't have with me today. But I'm shooting this at work. But, uh, but they don't fall out. You put your bits in there, and they're not going to go anywhere. Plus, if you look in here, you can use a standard quarter inch bit. So that's really cool, I think. And it comes with these bits, which comes with your uh, multi tool along with your extension. So you get all that along with the tool, which I think is great. So, oh, let me put that back in there. I'll leave it alone. All right, so we got that, and we have uh, this lanyard ring here. You can see it also comes out, and then you got your file. Pretty much the same as the uh, rebar. Got this smooth edge here. You've got your, your rough edge here for cutting, like maybe a pipe, small pipe or something. And then you've got the uh, you've got the cross cut here. I'm sorry, and then you got the. the uh, Single cut file on this side, a little bit smoother. I haven't used it yet, but uh, if it works anything like the other ones, then uh, it works real well. And then you've also got on both of these, you've got your uh, millimeter measurements here in the back, the little ruler, and you've got the inches, which is what we Americans use. So. Uh, we don't use a metric system over here too much. Uh, like I said, all these tools lock in place. This is pretty much just a big brother to the rebar. And both these tools are really great. I recommend either one of them. Uh, both uh, and they both work really well like I said uh, this bit kit here is, does not come with the rebar you have to purchase it separately uh, but the good thing about it is uh, this little bit holder will fit on several different models of uh, Leatherman so just check that on the, on the website and anyway I hope you enjoyed the video this is the flying mechanic uh, if you like it, subscribe and give us a like and uh, I'll see you on the next one guys. Have a good day.